today we are going to be getting ready for the 4th of July. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do for my base. And I need to figure that out because we're going to be like outside. It's going to be hot. It's probably going to be humid. So I need to figure out something that's going to last and wear all day. So we're going to do that. I have already moisturized and put, um, well, I didn't put on a sunscreen right now, but I will, I will put one on. However, I am going to be putting on some calamine lotion, um, as well as part of my base. Um, so it will help prevent me from getting sunburnt and protect me from the sun. I don't have my, I don't have my mirror. I can't see. Okay. So I figured today would be a good day because today we need to mow the lawn. It is the first. So it is coming up real close to the fourth. So I figured I need to figure out what I'm going to do because I don't want to have it turn out bad by the end of the day, you know? So there I have just a little bit of that on. So that I don't have like a, a thingy, my bobber, a rag. Oh well, it's okay. We don't need it. Um, for primer, I think I'm gonna start out with some of the Elf uh, Coconut Mist. And then I'm going to go in with some of the uh, Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer. This is the Shine Control one because it's going to be hot. So there's that. And then I'm just going to put that where I get oily. Which is primarily right here next to my nose on my cheeks. And then like my forehead. So I'm going to start on those areas and then just blend it into the rest of my face. And for foundation, let's see here. So I recently organized all of my stuff. That video will be up soon. Not sure exactly when. But I have all my foundations and concealers in this bin. I think what I'm going to do is create kind of a concoction of foundations. So let's see. I know I want to use some of the Believe Beauty. Um, the thing is, I don't know which ones because I'm trying to get a good shade match. For me right now. That's where I don't really know what I want to concoct together, you know? I think I'm going to start out with a little bit of the Foria foundation in 102 Nude. We're going to do I think two pumps of that. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. This is in Soft Ivory. And I'm just going to do just a little. Okay, that's a lot. But I'm going to do a glob of that. I don't know who you are. I'm not answering. Um, 
Then we'll do a pump of the Believe. We'll do two pumps. And then we'll do a pump of the Elf in 120 Pearl. I guess one means two. Okay, so here's the color we have. And I'm just gonna start putting that on my face. Okay, so that concoction is a little bit light. So I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit. Okay, so this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Buff Bisque. So it's a little bit darker. Add that to the mixture. Okay, so let's put some of that on. Darken it up a little bit. Whoa, just straighten the eyebrow. Straight in the eyebrow. It did, but it didn't blend into my hand. Next time I would just mix the darker, the darker shade of the Wet n Wild, because I know that one lasts a long time on my skin. But I mean, it's not horrible. It looks better in the mirror opposed to the camera, but that's okay. Because concealer, I'm going to put the e.l.f. 16-hour uh, camo concealer on. Just, just a smidgen. Right in the eyeball, apparently. a start. I was debating whether I wanted to cream contour or not, but I think we'll just use bronzer today. <sighs> yeah, so we shall put that away. They're still in the bin, but I just knocked them all over. So for powder, I think I'm just going to go in with my Cody Airspun powder. Stupid games. Like, just leave me alone. Okay, now we are powdered. Put that back in the drawer where it goes. And for bronzer, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start out with the uh, Farrah Contour 218M brush. I'm going to go in with the Forever Sunkissed uh, Elf. Uh, this is one of their primers. 
blushes, I believe. It looks like this. I did it every time. My nose itches. So I'm going to start out with some of this and just lightly chisel out my jaw. And then just make sure you really continue to blend it up back behind your ear. Don't stop. That is when it looks tacky and really bad. And then make sure you um, tap off your brush. Then what I like to do is also like take it down the neck so that way it just helps it blend in just a little bit. And I will just take it down the side right here. Just helps bring the color in and then it also kind of like trades a contour, makes you look skinnier. Now, I know this is going to go up way after the 4th, uh, because I had planned, I had one video filmed. It went horribly wrong. I wanted to have that up yesterday. I'm like three minutes into editing it. So, hopefully I can at least get that one up before the 4th. I wanted to have an extra video, because that one... I used too big of a brush and it went very, very wrong very, very quickly. So, I, I didn't want to scrap it, but I didn't know what to do. So I was just going to like quick edit it and like speed through a lot of it, um, which I had planned anyway because it was supposed to just be a quick video, but I don't know. So I just kind of took whatever was left and just kind of put it around my lips. Then I'm going to go in with the, what is this? Is this the Luxie 1010 brush? And we're going to do our cheeks. I like to start out with like a stippling motion while I'm placing the product and then I will go in and more blend it out. Aww. Come back. I can't read it. I can't read it. I knocked it on the floor. Hmm. It got a little scratch in it. Oh, well. Okay. For me and my face shape, I don't like to take it past my eye. I mean, I'll blend it a little bit further, but I don't want to purposefully put it there most of the time and then I'm just going to put it right like under slash kind of on to bring my face up otherwise I end up getting way too low down here so I try to push it up on my cheekbone and then I will go up to the temples and kind of blend around the forehead Okay, so I think I have the product where I want it. Now I'm just going to slightly go over it in small circular motions and just make sure it is nice and blended. This big fluffy brush here, this is the Physician's Formula uh, Mosaic Bronzer in warm beige and I'm just going to swirl it around 
and then just kind of go over everything and help make sure it is blended. Uh, this step also helps get rid of any excess of the um, the loose powder we set our face with. So it will help blend that in. And then because the foundation was a little bit light, I just kind of took that all over. And I'm just going to do that. I think we look nice and blended. Now I'm going to go in with the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is Be My Highlight. And I'm going to take that with uh, this brush here. This is a BH Cosmetics brush and I'm just going to kind of tap it. And put start off on like the high point and then I will blend it out a little bit, but I just want something uh, nice and pretty yet subtle. And then I'm gonna go a little bit under my brow bone as well. And kind of around. It just kind of gives a glow, but it doesn't look too flashy. Because I feel like in person, really blinding highlights just don't look that good. So, I'm just not going to try to do that. To set my face, I am going to go in with the Hard Candy Longwear Setting Spray. can see it is just everywhere. Okay. Let me give that a second to dry. It's all in my hair. Now that I have everything on my face, I feel like it does match pretty well. So maybe maybe I will do the same concoction. But I do have little beads on my face. So I'm going to gently go over it with the sponge to get rid of any spots that we don't want and hopefully blend them in. And then I'm going to use um, the e.l.f. coconut spray again just a little bit to give my skin some life. Just a couple. I don't know. I like that. I think that looks really nice. And then I will see how it all wears because some things just go together. Some things just don't. So I think right now it looks really good for eyeshadow. For eyeshadow, I am going to try this shadow palette this time. Okay, this is the self-made palette from A2O. It looks like this. I'm gonna try using this one this time and see what happens with that. I am going to start. Let me clean my brushes again. I guess I'm just going to start with a fluffier brush and I'm going to go in to this might be a bad idea but I'm going to go into this color right here very lightly and mix it in with this yellow and hopefully get a lightish brown to start in my crease. Okay, so now that we have that under, 
now comes the scary part where I'm going to add the blue. Now I want to take a smaller brush. This is still just a blender brush I'm gonna start out with because I just want a light application of it. Um, I don't know, this is like an Amazon brush or something. And then I'm gonna go in to this shade right here. Okay, and I'm just going to carefully place that right here. and build it up. Make sure you're tapping off excess. Just nice and soft, keeping it blended. Okay, so I think I like where this is at. It's definitely light. I thought I was gonna drop my mirror. And a lot more manageable. So I think we're gonna stop there. And then I'm gonna get another brush. Okay, so here's another blending brush. And I'm gonna go in to uh, the shade here. Very carefully and then we're gonna put that in the center Okay, so there is the red and the blue. Now what I'm going to do is take this here. It's kind of a champagne-y color. And just this little brush here. And I'm going to take that and put that on my inner corners. Okay, so that is that. And I think I'm just gonna go over if I can find my red brush, here it is. And I'm just gonna go over the red to help blend that in a little bit more. Okay, 
So I think this turned out a lot better. It was a lot more controlled. I didn't quite use such big brushes. I think instead of buying or leaning towards more brushes, I think I'm going to lean more towards getting proper tools and brushes that I'm actually gonna use because I have a ton of brushes like this one. I'm never gonna use that. What, what does one use this for? And like the blue ones aren't very good quality. So I don't wanna use them. So I just don't know what to do. But I am going to line my lips. I'm gonna try this uh, LA Colors lip liner. This is a red one in fiery red. This is a clean color lipstick in radiant red. Now this kind of is more of a pinky tone too, unfortunately. Maybe I'll just go with a nude. I don't think I like it. Mm. Dewy Nude, this is the e.l.f. something or other. I don't know if this is gonna help or make it worse. I think that helped, but I still don't really like this product. But I bought it and I feel bad returning things, so I'm gonna keep it. Maybe if I put like a brown underneath it? I don't know. For eyeliner, let's uh, I need to get my sharpener out. I might sharpen this and use that, but for today, I think I'm just gonna go in, yeah, this one's sharpened. This is the NYC uh, Cold Brow Eyeliner Pencil in Jet Black. So, there we have that. Then, I'm gonna take my Physician's Formula uh, Eye Booster and ultra black and try to just do a little tiny line on the outside. Okay, so that is the eyeliner. It's not perfect. It never is. But I'm going to stop before I get too far. I know myself. It's going to get too far. And then I am going... I'm going to use the Essence... Um, Micro Precise uh, Waterproof Eyebrow Pencil. This is the blonde one I'm gonna put in the front of my brows. I feel like it helps just kind of give the shadow something or other in the front without it being too much. Just kind of adding some more hairs in pretty much. And then I'll go in and put some brow gel in. I'm not that worried about my eyebrows. Well, that's that. And then I'm going to go in with the Benefit Gimme Brow. I just realized I didn't put a spoolie through my brush, through my brows.
every time. Can I at least brush that part out? Okay. That's lovely. Love it. So, I would think it's safe to say that this one is a lot more calm, a lot more collected, and it turned out a whole lot better. Minus this. And just the whole eyebrow, I guess. I probably just won't even do my eyebrows. I'll probably just throw in some brow gel. Yes. Yeah, but that is that. And I don't know. Is it fully gonna get that off? Oh, 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 oh. Well, I got rid of it. Oh. I had a request to put a star on my face, so um, I guess I mean it's good enough. I kind of messed it up, but that's okay. It's okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm stopping. I'm stopping. Where's my eyeliner? There's my eyeliner. So, is that cute? But, yeah, I think I will be doing something like this. Of course, hitting my computer. Um, yeah. I think it turned out really well. I like it. It's very patriotic. I need to go figure out what's for dinner. I will see you in my next one. Thank you for watching. If there was anything you would like to see from me, please be sure to let me know down below. If you do enjoy watching my videos, I would love it if you would subscribe if you are not and like and comment um, what your favorite part of this look is. And I will see you in my next one. Thank you and have a great day.